A person who goes down into their grave after the soul has gone and they are in their grave. Imagine what will be the condition of an individual there. We believe that there is something known as Dhaqtatul Qabr. You know, the, the grave being made narrow. How is it going to be made narrow? Allah knows, but we believe it. It's, it's going to happen because it's there. The Prophet ex explained it to us that, 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 you know, tightening or the narrowing of that grave, what will happen? And how the person will be tested so much and how they will be questioned in that grave. It's the truth. The angels will come and they will seat the individual. How it will happen, Allah knows best. But the questions are going to be asked by the angels. Who is your Rabb? Who is your Nabi? What is your Deen? And so on. And it's no good for us to say, well, I know the answers every day in the morning. I used to say it 20 times. That's not good enough. If you were following, you will be able to answer. And if you are not following, you won't be able to answer. So here is the mu'min, the one who was believing, he will answer just like that. And he will be given a good resting place. You know, a, a little perhaps breeze of heaven will be released for that person because of the goodness that the person engaged in, in, in his or her life. And the other person, the evil person who engaged in bad and did not turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will say or she will say, you know what? Who is your Rabb? Who is your Nabi? What is your deen? And so on. Oh. Yeah, I, I heard people saying something and I used to say something as well. That's what sometimes we are guilty of. Do you know how? We heard people reading the Quran. We just read it. That's all. We just said the same thing without even thinking. What's the meaning of it? What is it? What is this work? What is how can I live my entire life without knowing what my maker said? What a fool. Allahu Akbar. I need to know it because when I die, that Shaykh who told me it's haram to look at the meaning of the Quran, he's not going to be there with me to say, Oh Allah, I was the one who told us this chap here not to read the meaning. What do you think? It was you, your brain, your mind Allah gave you. You are responsible, you are answerable. Start understanding Allah's plan by reading his book. He's, that's the only book that is valid in existence. Subhanallah, it will lead you to the sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But if you don't have that book, you don't know what it's all about. What do you expect? How are you going to prepare for the Akhirah? My brothers and sisters, it's an important message. The preparation for the life after death is the most important thing that I need to prepare for. You know, we will all invest our wealth because we want, mashallah, high rise building and a little apartment. We will go out and get loans. Inshallah, hope they are halal, inshallah. But from wherever we get some loans and we want to, uh, you know, pay back over time because I need to own the house. Do you know what's happening? And I have seen this in a lot of cases of people who've passed away. They took out loans. They wanted big apartments or homes for their families and themselves. Before they could pay back the loan, they were already in need of a palace in the hereafter because they died. So what happens to, the, to that loan? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man hasana Allahu Akbar. Who is there who is going to give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that that loan would be multiplied so many fold? Subhanallah. Are you ready to do for Allah? Spend your time for Allah. Spend your energy for Allah. Abstain from sin for the sake of Allah. You will find its reward multiplied when you need your palace in the Akhirah. It will be there. You will already be given glad tidings of it from the moment the angels come to take your soul away. You've been given glad tidings because you, you now know, subhanallah, you have an idea that the angels that have come are angels that I've seen. One narration makes mention and it's muttafaq alayh, that the angels, the person who's dying will see the angels and just the angels and subhanallah, they up to the horizon, wherever the person can see, they will just see this angel, subhanallah. And, and the angel will come in white, white. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make that day easy for us. Ameen. Ask Allah to grant us goodness. People have died and people who did not believe that there was a hereafter are already in the hereafter. What fools? Subhanallah. People who did not believe in the hereafter are already in the hereafter. They've gone. Where are we going? Prepare for the grave. People will come, they'll bury you, they'll carry you. Like I always say, there will come a day when the phones will be ringing, the messages will be flying, people will be tweeting and whatsapping, and people will be putting posters and statuses and so on regarding your death. The day is coming. The day is definitely coming. People will phone. How many times have you received a phone call and a message? Someone you knew, close to you. They say, Inna lillah, the person's gone. 
Ah, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. How? What happened? Sometimes we are shocked. Shocked? Well, you know what? The bigger shock will be if you were just taken without preparation. That's a bigger shock. May Allah.